Hey, what up? It's OP from Serato. So you just downloaded and installed Serato Sample, and you want to use it inside of Ableton Live, and potentially with your push controller. I'll show you how to do this. Let's go. Once you've downloaded and installed Serato Sample, it should appear in the Plugins tab of the Ableton Live browser. If it hasn't, you might want to ensure that Ableton Live is scanning for plugins. To do this, go to the Plugins Preference menu, or if you're using Ableton Live 10.9 or below, this will instead be located in the File slash Folder tab of the Ableton Preferences menu. If you've installed Serato Sample as a VST, turn on Use VST Plugin System Folder. If you have a custom location for VSTs, turn on Use VST Plugins Custom Folder as well. If you have installed Serato Sample as an Audio Units plugin, then turn on Use Audio Units. Now, Serato Sample is all set up in Ableton Live, so let's start using it. There are two different ways to use Serato Sample in Ableton Live. You can simply load it up like a normal MIDI instrument, or if you're using the Ableton Push hardware, you can load it into the drum rack to make use of the push features. The first option is easy. Create a blank MIDI track and insert Serato Sample from your VST or Audio Units instrument plugins. Just make sure that your keyboard octave is set to the same range as Serato Sample. Press the letters Z or X to shift octaves up or down, respectively. For producers who use an Ableton Push and want to get the most value out of their hardware features, the second option is to insert it into a drum rack. To do this, we'll first insert a drum rack into an empty MIDI track. Go to your plugins and select Serato Sample as either a VST or Audio Units plugin and insert it into the drum rack. Now, inside the track's drum rack itself, Click on the selector for show slash hide chain list. And then in the drum rack, click on the selector for show slash hide input slash output selection. To the right, in the drum rack's chain for Serato sample, click the receive dropdown and then change it from default C1 and select all notes. You'll now be able to play the 32 pads on your push controller in the drum rack mode. And you'll also have full functionality of the step sequencer. With our sample loaded, Let's use Find Samples to set some quick cue points. You can assign up to 32 cue points to trigger. You can also manually place cue points anywhere in your sample by pressing the pads at the desired section of the sample. Please note, the parameters of Serato's sample cannot be adjusted or automated using the encoder knobs on the push controller in this setup. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to explore Serato's sample inside of Ableton Live. If you want to learn more or need help, please visit serato.com forward slash support.